like for many high school students, the word essay brings heart palpitations and dread in the belief that life as they know it is coming to an end. This notion seems to be housed in the parallel quadrant to the one that believes that algebra has no possible use outside a high school classroom. Actually, students can't be blamed. In truth, the essay is used only in the world of academia. A few scholars write essays, and even fewer people seek them out for reading pleasure. Their purpose may be to inform or persuade, but there are many other ways to gain the knowledge therein. People write blogs, letters, reports, and arguments. They write to specific audiences using rhetorical strategies that will appeal to those reading the text. As Stephen Graham and Karen Harris describe in their chapter, designing an effective writing program through text best practices and writing instruction, writing is strongly influenced by the context in which it takes place and a society, a social activity involving an implicit or explicit dialogue between writers and readers. In both of these situations, the essay has little context. In fact, the essay's only context is in school. So if students aren't really finding purpose in the context of school itself, they will be lost when they try to apply writing to school. Instead, the school should provide writing contexts that are authentic for real audiences and with a definite purpose. There are two strategies that are typically absent from writing courses, but which according to Graham and Harris are characteristic of highly effective writing teachers. The first is to set rhetorical goals. If students know they are working toward a purpose, they are better able to monitor and track their progress toward the goal. Therefore, it is critical to involve students in topics that affect them directly and in which they have some connection emotionally. For example, junior teachers in both social studies and English, and English would like for students to discuss the concept of the American dream. In some respects, students do need to understand the topic in history. But to have them write an essay about whether the American dream is accessible today, students really have little connection or motivation to explore the notion. However, there are many students who fall in the category of dreamers who qualify under the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals. When the DACA bill was set to be re repealed, many teens and young adults found themselves in an uncomfortable position of being caught between two countries. Even students who are natives to the United States are able to identify with and respond to the unfairness of the situation. Suddenly, the American dream takes on new significance as well as an opportunity to write. Instead of an essay, students can be asked to write a speech or letter to the editor of their local newspaper that argues the need for or against the repeal of DACA. They also know their audience will be those who disagree with them, and they will need to learn how to balance evidence and rhetorical strategies in order to influence those real people. This becomes the rhetorical goal, to convince the audience of those in support of the repeal to consider. The second strategy that may be missing from writing instruction is allowing students to choose their topics, audiences, and perspectives. Graham and Harris say that providing choice creates an inviting atmosphere in the classroom, important in allowing students opportunities to take risks. For example, in the above sample, if a student knows a doctor candidate personally, he or she may want to write a narrative explaining what that person is going through. A student that can create a rhetorical goal, define his or her audience, and find a mode of delivery that is most effective will be motivated, engaged, and more likely to succeed in the writing task. The five paragraph essay, once the definitive writing goal, is now antiquated. It was formulaic and predictable, and it served as a poor representative of authentic writing. Next, we should banish any essay from the writing class. Authentic writing rarely comes in the form of essays. If teachers want students to demonstrate thought in written form, we must make it purposeful beyond the classroom. Created using Powtoon.